All right. Welcome, everyone, to our Sunday evening meditation. It is, as I was saying earlier, Canadian Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all. And um, I'm Juna. Sabina. We're from Synergy in Motion, and we're very glad that you're here or listening in the future, whatever it is. Um, we always begin with a weekly energy forecast, and we're super excited about tonight's um, um, energy forecast. And um, this this particular hexagram goes from October 8 to 13, so we're already in it a little bit. And it's number 57 for those of you who are tuned into the numbers of the hexagram. And it is all about intuitive insight. It is probably the sharpest, keenest insight that is available to us all. Um, and it's available through the body. And um, the, the ancient um, Chinese called it progressing humbly. And human design calls it the gentle. So there's something about being gentle and a gentle breeze because the, um, the trigram symbol is wind over wind. So we know how gentle a breeze can be and the winds of change. And intuition comes to us like the change of a wind. And if you are not extremely present and paying attention to the now, you can miss that gentle whisper, that gentle breeze of knowing that comes and it, and then it comes and then it goes, it comes and it goes. So we live, most of humanity lives in the shadow aspect of this particular hexagram, which is unease. Which comes from the Gene Keys. Yes, yeah. Gene Keys and Richard Rudd, Rudd talks about unease. So we live in this fear, and the fear of this particular gate is the fear of tomorrow, the fear of the future. So how many of you can relate to that, right? Well, the fear of what's going to happen to me, right? What's, what's, what's around the corner? I've got this, you know, we've got fear more than we've got our intuition because the fear speaks so loud. It's, it's like a loud tornado. Whereas that intuitive insight comes like a gentle breeze. So that's why we're encouraging us all and us ourselves included to be so deeply present and aware, tuned in really all of the senses and this particular hexagram is about acoustical hearing, hearing in the now, paying attention to the sound, the vibration, the shift of energy. I don't know if any of you have are sailors or have um, played with sailing or windsurfing. I used to do windsurfing and sailing with my dad. And you would set the sail and you would move with the wind. But if you were determined and you were rigid and you set the sail and you never changed it according to the wind, what would happen? You would, you would fall out of the boat, <laughs> you, right? You go in circles. Like you have to be able to shift with the wind. And so this is wind over wind and just being aware of the subtleties of the change and, and this intuitive insight comes like a whisper. Mm -hmm. And when you don't listen to the whisper for a very long time, the gentle breeze can also turn into a strong wind, to mm -hmm. a storm. Because mm -hmm. when you live based on your fears, your body will become louder and louder and the storm will brew in the background and then come into the forefront. So mm -hmm. wind is not always gentle and intuition is gentle most of the time, but it can turn mm -hmm. into a tornado as well <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. And yeah, we, we were talking earlier today about this, that the mind so much wants clarity, you know, mm -hmm. pretty much everybody we talk to, I just want clarity on this. If I just had clarity and, and I too, like I want clarity, but as we were talking, it was like, Clarity comes from the mind, and, and the mind wants to be clear. But there's this superpower of the body's knowing, mm -hmm. this, this intuition that is just, and it's right in the now. You, it's, it's not about intuition of the past or the future. It's not fear-based. It is just now, and it steers you into a direction it's, it can steer you out of harm's way. It can steer you into a healthy um, next step. Um, coherence. 
Yeah. It's a coherence. So it it is yeah it's mm-hmm. it's um and and when the mind looks for clarity it most of the time looks actually for security mm-hmm. which is an illusion to begin with because we don't know there might be a cosmic bunny who runs over the planet and shakes everything up who knows right in the next mm-hmm. moment so we really only have the security in the present moment which is only accessible to our, through our body, because our mind usually, if not always, is in the past or in the future, mm-hmm. right? Analyzing data from the past, projecting it into the future, and and and. So the mind is not present in this moment, but your body is always present in the moment. If not, hmm, <laughs> that's a different subject. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe we can get more present with it tonight in the meditation. Yes, I wanted to add one thing. Um, this. Uh, intuitive insight is for you. Mm-hmm. It is not for anyone else. That's that's a really key piece. Um, your intuitive flash, your intuitive insight does not come with reasons or justifications or explanations. Um, so if you get this hit that you need to move out of, out of the way, you, you, your body will take you there. Like in an ideal situation, it just, you will, you will get that hit and you will you will do it, and it's for you. It's it's not for the masses. It's very individual. It comes when it comes. You cannot predict when this insight will come. And of course, we all want it, right? We all want. We want. We, we like a tap line, a tap root to to our intuition. Mm-hmm. But this particular quality of intuition and insight is um, is through the body, and it's it's through hearing as well, and. It's almost like a selective hearing to your particular vibration that intuition comes to you. Mm-hmm. So, and and if you're bogged down in fear, you're bogged down in um, trying. You know, like we're, we're, we push and we work so hard, and we're it, that's a very yang energy. Like you got to make it happen. You got to do. But what we need to be is the gentle. When we are the gentle, then this penetrating awareness can come into us but it can't come to us if we're armored and we're like raw out into the world right when we soften and we're gentle then we can perceive that gentle wind Mm -hmm. and here comes another tidbit to the acoustical hearing the hearing doesn't only happen through your ears it happens through your aura Right? Your whole aura, your whole energy field is actually capable to perceive the sound waves that are surround, surrounding us. Everything has a vibration, hence sound. Right, So it's not just your ears that hear, it's your body that listens. It's your body that hears. Your ears are part of it, but only fairly tiny ones. So it's really about hearing with your whole energy field and tuning to the whispers of your intuition. And like seeing that, I I love this phrase, that your intuition is kind of your hotline to the divine, right? That's that's where the oneness can speak Mm. with you. That's how we can communicate. It doesn't Mm. come through that thing between your ears, but it does come through the vibration, the whispers through your whole body. Mm. Yeah, so that's what this week is all about. And uh, tune tune into it, uh, soften, become gentle, so that you can perceive that gentle breeze. Let's go. Let's breathe <laughs> ourselves gently into a comfortable position. And if you want to turn your camera off, you can. Hmm. And allow your breath to flow deeply into your belly, nurturing your body. And with your breath, allow yourself to come present with your body in this now moment.
And in this now moment, allow the week that has been to pass, to be done. Let it go. And also let go of the week to come. And with that, come even more present and come home to yourself in this moment. And allow your breath to deeply, deeply flow into your body. Really become aware of your breath. Breathing in, receiving, breathing out, letting go. And imagine how your breath fills your whole body. Allowing it to flow all the way through your chest. and belly, into your legs and feet, arms and hands, filling your spine, and your head. Bringing life to every cell of your body and letting go of everything that is not required any longer. Breathing in life. Letting go of any attachments. And expand your breath beyond your body and breathe with your energy field.
allowing your energy to come alive and clear. Breathing in life. Letting go of everything that doesn't serve any longer. Breathing in nurturing energy. Letting go of the old. Breathing in trust. Letting go of worry. And being present with your energy and your body. Imagine how you can listen with all of you, your body, your energy. Opening up to a new kind of awareness. And allow your awareness to wander and open up to the wisdom and the whispers that speak to you through your body, from your body. And it doesn't matter whether there is something concrete in this moment or just a gentle getting to know your capacity to listen with your whole being. Listening to the gentle whispers of life. And while you're listening, become aware of your energetic heart.
and imagine how you open up that space. to listen with you. What is your heart telling you right now? And become aware of the superpower of your heart, the superpower of love and loving. What would it be like to listen with love, to receive with love? To witness with love. Together, let's become aware of the people around us in our neighborhoods, in our cities, and listen with love. Witness what is unfolding currently on this planet with love. And listen to the whispers with love.
and being in communion with yourself, with your surrounding and the world, with the power of love and gentleness. Give yourself permission to really listen to the whispers of your intuition. And in this moment, allow yourself to deepen the trust in yourself for no reason other than you being you. Trusting yourself to listen to the whispers of life. Inviting you to listen to your intuition, your knowing, your truth. in the present moment. And in this coming week, I invite you to listen to yourself with love. To listen to your awareness with love, your intuition with love. To even listen to others with love. Listening to the gentle whispers of life. And let us whisper to you a lot of gratitude for you daring to be more of you, daring to be alive and daring to listen to yourself. That is amazing. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for being. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Ah, I feel more relaxed. Mm-hmm. So thank you for all, all of you for joining us. And uh, if you want to, oh, thank you, Tina. Thanks. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, you're free to go. And uh, if you want to say something, you can enter something into the chat or unmute yourself and speak. Mm-hmm. Or and we will, what? we will see you <laughs> next week. week. Yes, same time, same, same time. planet. I think. Yes. <laughs> so and yes. yeah, enjoy your week of those intuitive insights and just paying attention, paying more attention, and getting out of the fear mm-hmm. and into the clarity. Okay, great. 
With love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.